dreams of loved ones await astronaut M. Scott Carpenter as he steps from a plane upon his arrival at Florida's Patrick Air Force Base. Wife Renee is first to greet him. The four Carpenter children are so proud of Dad, the Navy Lieutenant Commander who added his name to the space pioneers of the 60s with his suspenseful three-orbit flight. Thousands give a heartwarming welcome as Scott Carpenter and his wife ride in a motorcade on a 12-mile route from Patrick to Cape Canaveral. At Hangar S, Mrs. Florence Carpenter, the astronaut's mother, watches with pride as NASA Chief James E. Webb presents the Distinguished Service Medal of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Then Commander Carpenter escorts his mother to the Aurora 7, in which he made his five-hour space trip. The family of the 37-year-old astronaut can recall, with millions across the nation, the grave anxiety during the period of nearly an hour when Carpenter's fate was uncertain. But he has been returned to them a very personal hero. At a news conference, Carpenter says there's no explanation why he overshot the landing target by 250 miles. He discounts reports of fatigue on the third orbit of the flight, likened to an easy bus ride. I understand the report came from Hawaii that it was a tired and confused astronaut. <laughs> if my opinion is worth anything to you, this is not true. I will admit to being preoccupied. I would like to apologize for the concern I caused the people who watched the flight for the concern in uh, the control center. Had I known how concerned you were, I would have been concerned. <laughs> but I was not. The problem was in communications. My status was good throughout. And in many respects, this was as easy as a bus ride. <laughs> 